my dear students this is class 9th subject internal science and the topic which we are going to discuss today is the air pollution in the previous lecture we have discussed the important topic that is biotic and abiotic components of our environment so far as this term air pollution is concerned we say pollution is actually the undesirable change taking place in our surroundings undesirable change taking place in our environment so far as this air pollution is now concerned it is the presence of harmful substances in the air leads to pollution of the air this means that when such substances gets added to the air which are not useful for all living organisms in general these substances are said to be harmful and when these gets accumulated in the air that leads to pollution of the air it can severely affect the health of the living organisms and the quality of the environment in which we are living how this air plays an important role in the overall survival of all living organisms when this air remains pure definitely the health conditions of all the living organisms will get improved but if any undesirable change will take place in the composition of this air it has severely uh, it has severe effects upon the living organisms therefore i had mentioned it over here it can severely affect the health of living organisms that means the health of the living organisms gets affected and besides the health the quality of the environment also gets degraded the environment in which we are living will not remain feasible for the survival now we will move towards another sub topic of the air pollution that is causes of air pollution what are the reasons what are the causes which leads to air pollution there are so many reasons there are so many causes which causes this air pollution and i have mentioned over here some important ones number one is here burning of fossil fuels burning of fossil fuels when we burn fossil fuels like coal petroleum they release a lot of smoke which gets added to the air and leads to air pollution second is here indoor activities this means the activities which we are doing within our homes within our houses like painting we are using cleaning agents for cleaning different substances and these uh, releases harmful chemicals and leads to air pollution another one is here exhaust from the industries the industries factories release lot of waste materials in form of smoke and other uh, chemicals which leads to air pollution another one is here suspended particulate matter like dust particles other other things which gets added remain suspended in the air and they lead to air pollution uh, now the another uh, aspect of this topic is the effects of air pollution now what are the effects we have uh, discussed over here what is air pollution what are the causes of air pollution now what are the effects of the air pollution this air pollution has severe effects like acid rain it is one of the it is one of the Uh, severe effect of this air pollution that it leads to acid rain second is here harmful diseases and allergies the different harmful diseases uh, spreads because of air pollution and various allergic reactions like uh, uh, like uh, this we can see common cold extra uh, allergies in the throat uh, difficulty in breathing these are some of the Uh, diseases which are, which are caused by this air pollution now another one is here decrease in visibility 
when air pollution increases the visibility also decreases uh, another uh, severe effect of this air pollution is global warming that is the overall temperature of the earth's surface gets increased in this way we have completed one of the important topic that is air pollution causes of air pollution and the effects of air pollution in next lecture we will discuss what is water importance of water and what is water pollution till then khuda hafiz